We will discuss two ways to deploy CDF to the web, embedding CDF into HTML pages and embedding CDF into a WordPress site. We'll start with HTML pages. Here's a directory where we keep some website files. One of the files is a web page which contains a blog post with details on how to embed CDF. This blog post has everything a typical page has. The only thing missing is interactive, computable content. So, what can we do to deliver that content to the web page? We've prepared an interactive app which showcases the interactive features of CDF. Here is the interactive example of fractal trees. You can interact with the trees by grabbing the green circles and moving them around. Using the tools at the top, you can change the color palette or environment. You can also generate a new tree. How do we deploy this interactive application to the web page with the blog post? We start by selecting the interactive cell we'd like to embed in the web page. Then we go to File, CDF Export, Web Embeddable. This brings up the CDF Web Deployment Wizard. After reading the free CDF licensing terms, we can proceed to Step 2. The option Current Selection is selected automatically based on the selection of the cell we'd like to embed. Let's remember embedding the entire document is also an option. In this case, we'll go with Current Selection. Next, we need to browse to the location where we'd like to save the CDF file. We'll save it in the directory where we keep our web page files. We'll call the file Fractal Trees and save it. We click Continue to proceed to Step 3. Because our CDF and web page files are in the same directory, we need to choose the first option. If you prefer to keep the files in different directories on your server, you'll need to provide the full URL for the location of the CDF file and paste it in the box. In this case, we'll go with our first choice. Click Continue to proceed to Step 4. Step 4 provides us with a small JavaScript code. If you open the CDF Dimensions section, you'll find the width and height of the CDF file. We triple-click to select the JavaScript code and right-click to copy it. Now we can close the CDF wizard and proceed to our web page. Our website directory now contains the CDF file and an alternate image. The alternate image will display on systems that do not have CDF player installed. Next, we need to decide where to embed the CDF file in the web page. Let's place it right after the second paragraph. We will save the source file and view the new web page. The CDF application is now perfectly embedded in the web page, allowing you to freely interact with the example right in the web browser. All the interactivity available in the Mathematica notebook has been delivered to this web page with help from CDF. Here is a summary of the entire workflow. Don't forget to transfer the HTML page, CDF, and alternate image files to your server. Next, we'll discuss embedding CDF in your WordPress site. If you host a WordPress site and have administrative access to it, embedding CDF in your posts and pages is an easy task. From the WordPress dashboard, you need to install the Wolfram CDF plugin. Go to Plugins, Add New, and in the search bar, type Wolfram CDF. Click Install Now to install the plugin. Once you activate the plugin, you are ready to begin. You'll only need to install the plugin once. Next, we'll upload the CDF file to the WordPress site. We'll use the same CDF file we used in the HTML embedding wizard. The CDF web deployment wizard also generates an alternate image for display on systems that do not have CDF player installed. To upload the files, go to Media, Add New. Upload your files and click Save All Changes. The files are now in your media library. Here is a post that we have already started. I want to embed the CDF after the second paragraph. To get started, I click the CDF button. This inserts the code to embed the CDF. You'll need to know the width and height of the CDF, which were provided by the CDF Web Deployment Wizard. If you forgot the dimensions of the CDF, you can always retrieve them using the function CDF Information. Now let's fill out the fields in the code. First, I paste in the URL of the CDF file, followed by the width and height. Using an alternate image is optional, but recommended. We will use one for this example. We paste in the URL of the image and include the image width and height. We click Preview to make sure things look correct, and they do. 
When you are ready to publish, hit the publish button. In just a few moments and a few simple steps, we've delivered fully interactive Mathematica content to a WordPress site using CDF. Here is a summary of embedding CDF in a WordPress site. 